in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails. For our goodnight message on this Monday, the 27th of March, 2023, Broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Rusaka, Zambia, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging and strengthening message entitled, Reject the Lie That You Aren't Good Enough. We are drawing our reflection from 1 Samuel chapter 20, verse 31. As long as the son of Jesse lives on this earth, neither you nor your kingdom will be established. Now send someone to bring him to me, for he must die. We have all been there, feeling like we are not good enough, because no matter how hard we try, someone else is doing better and achieving more. Behind the forced smile, we secretly feel like their success is our failure because we believe we don't measure up in comparison. You know the feeling? At work, your boss told everyone, Amanda broke the sales record again. Your stomach turned because yet again you wondered, why can't I ever beat Amanda? Or maybe you were scrolling through social media when you saw Natasha away on another exotic vacation with her spouse. You looked at your husband and thought, why am I not worth a nice trip somewhere? Or maybe you were so excited about the launch of your new podcast until your college roommate hit 100,000 subscribers on hers. As you closed your laptop, you thought to yourself, what's the point? I will never have that many subscribers. The Bible story of King Saul's jealousy toward David inges on this same line of thinking. Saul was the reigning king of Israel. Appointed by God after the Israelites demanded that God give them a king. However, Saul felt less than in comparison to David because people approved of David more than him. The people sang in 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 7, So has slain his thousands, and David his tens of thousands. A song that set Saul on a murderous rampage against David. But there is a third person in this story, Jonathan, Saul's son and supposed heir to the throne. He was also David's best friend. As a matter of fact, just three verses before Saul's jealousy was triggered against David, Jonathan gave David his robe and weapons in a display of love and friendship. 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 4. Jonathan had an entirely different reaction to the people's approval of David. Instead of seeing the people's approval of someone else as an indictment against himself, Jonathan celebrated David. Here is why this is so crucial. So believed it was because of David's popularity that his kingship and Jonathan's future kingship were less secure. This is why, in response to Jonathan's encouragement not to harm David, so angrily turned to his son and said, As long as the son of Jesse, David, lives on this earth, Neither you nor your kingdom will be established. Now send someone to bring him to me, for he must die. First Samuel chapter 20 verse 31. So forgot that it was God alone who had put him on his throne, and it would be God who would remove him and set the next king who turned out to be David on the throne. But Jonathan didn't secure his identity in being king. He secured his identity in 
who God said he was and in God's power to win battles on his people's behalf. Jonathan wasn't threatened by David because he believed that nothing can hinder the Lord from saving, whether by many or by few. 1 Samuel chapter 14 verse 6c Ultimately, he trusted God to exalt and humble whom he wished, whether that included God granting him kingship or not. When you start to spiral into thoughts like, why wasn't I invited? Or why her instead of me? Or why can't I ever be good enough? Ask yourself a more important question. Why does it matter? Killing toxic comparison requires changing what we believe about ourselves. The question, why does it matter, helps us uncover what we believe about ourselves. Not being invited matters because we believe we are not worthy. And for those of us struggling with that, not being invited serves as perceived proof that we are not worthy. But what if we learn to reframe the things that trigger our insecurity so instead of making us feel unworthy, they draw us closer to God? Like Jonathan, we need to reframe other people's success as an opportunity to celebrate what God is doing in their lives without comparing it to what God is doing in our lives. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. You will lead me through the fire And in darkest night You will close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived In the goodness of God